hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we are going to be looking at trigonometric compound and multiple angles before we begin if you are new to my science tutorials kindly consider subscribing and pressing that notification button so that you don't miss any of our latest tutorials on biology chemistry mathematics and physics so let's begin so like i said we will be looking at trigonometric compound and multiple angles so let's have a look at some of the examples of the compound angles that we have. So the first one we want to look at is what? Sine A plus B. Now the compound angles are the A and B. They are angles, okay? So if we have sine, then into bracket A plus B, what is the expansion of this? So if we have sine into bracket A plus B, the expansion is as follows. So we have sine A then we have what cos b then plus then cos a sine what b so this is the expansion of what sine a plus b the second one is what sine a minus b now this is the same as this except that the sine over here changes to the negative that we have over here so we have sine a sine a then cos b minus cos e sine b all right let's look at the third one now when we have cos a plus b for cos we have what cos a then cos come again cos b now for cos the sign is what the inverse of what we have or the opposite so we have cos a cos b then minus instead of plus so we have minus sin e sin b sorry sin b let's take note of how the expansion of what cos a plus b is now when we have cos a minus b this is what cos a then we have what cos b now instead of minus we have what plus over here then sin a sin b so this is the expansion of what cos a minus b we have in between the expansion we have plus instead of what negative okay now what if we have tan so when we have tan a plus b this is equal to what tan a plus what tan b divided by one minus what tan a tan b okay so if we have tan a minus b we have the expansion to be what tan a minus tan b over one plus what tan a tan b now look at that of tan tan we have plus in the middle so the numerator has what plus between them so tan a plus what tan b divided by one minus tan a tan b now for tan a minus b the numerator has the negative sign as this but then the division sign has what one plus what tan a tan b so we need to note these three sorry these six expansions when we want to solve any problem related to what compound angles of trigonometry now there is something we need to take note of whenever we have the angles given to us it is advisable to break the angles into two angles whose ratios are commonly known now by this i mean the angle what 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees sine 30 we can easily get that using calculator sine 45 to sine 60 and what sine 90 the same way cos of what these angles 30 45 60 and 90 are easy tan of them is also what easy to obtain so at time it is better you use any of this that is the angle 30 45 60 and 90 to get what the angle that you are being given in the brackets to find let's look at an example to understand what i mean by this so we are to find without using tables the values of the following leaving the answer in said form so i sine 75 
okay so for sine 75 you can see we have 75 over here so now which two angles can we use for us to get 75 remember i told you we should use what 30 45 60 and 90 try and see whether you can add subtract any of this to get the angle that you want so for sine 75 we can see that what sine into bracket okay then the angle 45 plus 30 will give us what 75 okay so now that we have this we can see what sine 45 plus 30 is equal to if we expand this we are going to get sine 45 cos 30 plus because this is sine we are going to use the plus sign then we have what cos 45 sine what 30 okay now sine 45 is what root 2 on 2 cos 30 is what root 3 on 2 then plus cos 45 is what root 2 on 2 and then sine 30 is what half so from here this is what root 6 over 4 plus what root 2 over 4 so this is simply what because the base are the same we have what root 2 sorry root 6 plus what root 2 all over 4 now for this we can leave our answer as this or we can factor what root 2 out over here so if we factor root 2 out we are going to get what root 2 over 4 into bracket root 3 plus 1 that is if we multiply this by this root 2 multiplied by what root 3 will give us what root 6 then root 2 multiplied by 1 will give us what root 2 all divided by the denominator 4 over here so you can either leave your answer as this or as this it is still in a said form so let's have a look at the second example cos 105 all right so for cos 105 degrees we can see that what if we said cos 60 plus 45 degrees we are going to get the 105 degrees that is being given to us all right now that we have this we can go ahead and say what cos 60 plus 45 is equal to what cos 60 cos 45 because we have plus here here will be what minus then we have what sine 60 sine 45 so this is equal to cos 60 is what half cos 45 is what root 2 on 2 then minus sine 60 is what root 3 on 2 then what sine 45 is what root 2 on 2 so all we gotta do now is to what simplify what we have over here so this will give us what root 2 on 4 minus this will give us what root 2 multiplied by what root 3 or root 6 divided by 4 so the denominator the denominators are equal so we can just simplify the numerator and get our answer or we factor out or this is equal to what 2 root 2 minus what into bracket root 2 multiplied by what root 3 all over 4 so we can see that root 2 is common so we factor it out root 2 into bracket 1 minus what root 3 then all divided by 4 or you divide this side by 4 you still get what we have at the top over here so this is that of what cos 105 all right let's look at the third one we have cos 75 all right so for cos 75 we can see that cos 45 degrees plus 30 degrees will give us the angle 75 so if we expand cos 45 plus what 30 degrees we are going to get cos 45 cos 30 minus 
sine 45 sine 30 so this is equal to cos 45 is root 2 on 2 cos 30 is root 3 on 2 then minus this sine 45 is what root 2 on 2 sine 30 is half so if we simplify this we are going to get root 6 on 4 minus root 2 on what on 4 so we factor root 2 out so we get root 2 on 4 into bracket this will become what root 3 minus 1 so this is our answer leaving it in a set form now let's look at the last one that we were given the iv is what tan negative 15 degrees All right so tan negative 15 degrees we can express it in the form tan into bracket the angle 45 degrees minus what 60 degrees will give us what the tan negative 40 uh sorry negative 15 that we have over here so we know that what tan 45 degrees minus what 60 degrees will be equal to what tan 45 degrees minus what tan 60 all over 1 plus what tan 45 tan 60 1 minus what tan 60 is what root 3 divided by 1 plus 1 multiplied by what root 3 so we have here 1 minus what root 3 divided by what 1 plus what root 3 now you can see we have set at the denominator so we rationalize the denominator by multiplying by what 1 over what root 3 1 over root 3 so if we simplify what we have over here if we multiply and we simplify we are going to get 1 minus what 2 root 3 plus 3 all divided by what 1 minus 3 and then if we further simplify this we are going to get what this 1 plus 3 will give us 4 minus what 2 root 3 divided by what 2 over here okay so this is going to give us what now 4 minus 2 root 3 divided by 2 this is this can be expressed in the form 4 divided by 2 minus 2 root 3 divided by 2 so 2 going to 2 what 2 2 going to 4 2 times then minus 2 cancel here so we have what root 3 so we have sorry the denominator here is negative 2 because 1 minus 3 is what a negative 2 so if this is negative this is also supposed to be what negative negative over here so we have this is negative 2 then this will be what plus okay so we have what root 3 minus 2 as our answer leaving it in a said form for that of what time negative 15 so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye